Now we're gonna go over how to add a device to the room if you haven't done so already. Typically when you set up the device, um, when you go through the setup process, one of the options is to assign it a room. But if you haven't done that, you can do that later, or you can actually move it to a different room um, if you physically move it to a different room in real life. So just remember that a device can only belong to one room at a time, one room at a time, okay? So just keep that in mind. So if we go here, if you have any devices that aren't assigned to the room, they're actually going to be all the way at the bottom here. Um, we don't have any right now, but just so you know, that's where you're going to find them. But so you, you would do the same thing um, if it wasn't assigned or if it's already assigned to a room, you just tap on the device itself. You go ahead and click the settings icon up in the top right. Once you do that, you see a bunch of different options here, so just keep that in mind um, if you ever want to just alarm time or volume or anything like that. But we're going to go down to where we see rooms. Now we also see homes and groups, so you can adjust the settings for this device um, for the home and the group as well. You can move it to a different home, but we're going to tap on room. And from here, we can select um, a different room to put it in or a new room. And again, we can only have one at a time, so make sure it's in the correct location, in the correct room that you wanted it in real life. We're gonna go ahead and click save. The reason you wanna make sure that your devices are digitally in the same room as they are physically is because, say, the bedroom speaker, um, this way I can talk to if I'm physically standing in the bedroom, I can tell that Google Home speaker to turn off the lights and it knows, because I've set it up appropriately, that the lights in that room are these six lights. So if I go ahead and tell it to turn off the lights, it's just gonna turn off the six bedroom lights instead of turning off all of the lights in the house. Now, if I want it to turn off all the lights in the house, I just have a to say the command, turn off all the lights in the house, then it will go into the specific home we're in here and turn off all of the lights within that home. So this is just um, nice and convenient so you don't have to say as much and be as specific with your Google Home products. So make sure you put everything in the correct room. Uh, another good example is if you have a TV in a room um, with a Google Home speaker, you can tell that uh, Google Home to cast something to the TV and you don't have to specify family room TV or basement TV or anything like that because it knows that you've put the speaker in with the correct TV in the same room. I know it shows that, that I have like uh, three TVs here, but it's only just the one. So it knows to go and cast to the correct TV because I've set it up appropriately and put it in the correct room together. So that's why you just wanna make sure everything is in the right place. And that's how you uh, move or add a device to a specific room.